All right, folks. This is a hive I removed from a plantation over the winter time, mm -hmm. and they're in a deep in two mediums, and I'm about to add another medium. They were doing cleansing flights a little bit ago, and um, so I'm not going to mess with even smoking the entrance. I'll just take the top box off, give them a little smoke, and I'm going to add a, a medium super. All right, let's do it. So, hmm, it really only worked the two middle frames it looks like, so I might just take this box off and have a peek what's going on underneath, but I'm probably not going to add the medium like I thought I would, okay. using foundation and foundationless. Uh, they'll do that sometimes. Alright. nectar flow yet waiting on the Chinese tallow flow to kick in. You gonna Alright. Let me get that. Okay. Finally. <laughs> Alright. Move this aside. This is how I like to do it, okay? I like to put them on that short side. Just gonna take a peek, see if we have any queen cells going. Okay, like I said, I mean I just removed these dang bees. What, like uh, three months ago, whatever it was? Okay, so, alright. Got the GoPro we're filming with today, you know? So, uh, alright. I guess the GoPro is doing its job. The only thing with the GoPro, you know, you have no zoom with that thing. That's the only issue, and the audio is not always that great either, so, I'm hoping we're getting some audio. I haven't used this in a while and I, I just can't remember how good the audio is. See, here's a foundationless. They're not working it. Let's see what's going on in this bottom. This is just that little pocket tool, hot tool that a lot of people were digging these days. You know? So. Alright. Let's go ahead. Nice gentle bees, you know? See that, folks? That's what I deal with most of the time. And you just kind of put your fingers, uh, spread your fingers gently, and uh, they'll move out of the way, you know? Let's take a peek at this real quick, okay? So, see I added some of their brood comb, which was old. Drone brood over, over here. Maybe a little, little worker. Smaller cells here. Flip it around for a second. There's a queen cell right there. Cup, anyway. Alright. They might be trying to supersede this queen, so. 
Let's see if they have. Well, here's another one. That have that one hadn't hatched out yet. So, okay, only two so far, and uh, I may want to split in this hive at some point. Not today, though. We're just we're just doing a quick inspection. All right. Give them a little smoke just to kind of run them down, get them out of the way. All right. I'm going to check the next two frames, and then I'm going to have to put them back, okay? But, um, all right. Let's see what we got here. All right. So, there's a, looks like a cup up there. I mean, and you can see they have plenty of room, so... It could just be dealing with that reproductive urge to propagate. Okay. Are we getting this in here? I hope so. Alright. I'm going to put this one back. And then go on to the next one. Let me put my glasses on. See if this, if she's laying. And uh, I saw some more in, in the, uh, the other uh, frame. Gotta be, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, let's see eggs. Okay, I see eggs. All right. So, all right. All right, let's just put this down. I'm gonna say we'll go on to the next one. Right, just kind of gently, gently put it down. Make sure they, you know, they get out of the way. You don't want to squish any, especially when you're not wearing protection, okay? Alright, and just to show you, okay, I'm not wearing protection, alright? Now, just to run them down, get them out of the way. Alright. I like this little, uh, this little pocket hug tool. Jeff McMullen, I want to say is his last name, and he's near Springfield, Texas, and Shawnee and I went down there and visited the Fort Bend Beekeepers Association, and um, he gave us one of these. Now, I might have to get a knife. We've got a little wacky comb here that they've made. Well, let me just see if I can't uh, pull it up. Let's see. Heck, it's gonna break. All right, I'll just. All right, let's do this. Move these over a little bit. Just a little. Okay. Give me some more space. See, move that one. See that little piece is wanting to break off. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to split these very soon, I believe. And, uh, there's no honey in here, though, you know? Maybe they're waiting to get some honey before they go full-blown. But, uh, I don't think I'm going to remove this one right now. It's just too wacky. Eh, all right. Dang it. I did kind of want to look at it. Hey, we'll do We'll just we'll pull this, this one back and, and check the next one. And I'll have to get in here and do some maintenance, obviously. I mean, they're going to be doing maintenance, you know, <laughs> the next couple of days uh, to uh, fix the what I just did. But uh, all right, so this next one should get an idea on things. I mean, you know, maybe we'll run across the queen. You know, get lucky. I can show you what she looks like. Oh, she might be in the second box. You know, I don't know. I'm not really going there too much yet. Now look, she's got a good pattern, huh? Yeah, that's. Nice and capped. Pretty capped stuff going on there. Uh, yeah, she's she's pretty good queen, I'd say. Yep. She's getting it done. All right. Put this back here. All right. Well, there's not a lot of queen cells, but. Uh, 
know they're kind of up high, most of them. But we run across maybe four, so. All right, all right. I'm gonna have to get in here with my knife, and we're gonna have to do some maintenance. We're gonna go ahead and put this back here. All right, we'll give them a little smoke. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight, seven, eight. Just run them down a little bit. All right, got them. Move them over. They wanna come up top, so. Uh, run, uh, run them with the smoke. Yeah, get them, get them to move over. You know, with the smoke, so you can do what you need to do. All right, I'm still being gentle. I'm just using the smoke to, to move them. You know, I'm gonna move my frames. I'm be very careful. I don't, I don't pinch a bee. You know, nobody likes to hurt bees. You know, and when you hurt a bee or smush a bee, when you don't have any protection on, you uh. Can aggravate the heck out of them, you know, and we definitely don't want to do that. So, uh, even some of the most gentle hives, they will uh, let you have it if you make a mistake, you know. So, low and slow, you know. Obviously, with protection, you go a lot faster than this, but um, you do what's you know best for the bees. Always, what's best for the bees. Okay. I got a little girl that's on my neck. I saw her fly out. <laughs> she was giving me a little warning. Uh, she's okay. She uh, never went full full throttle with that uh, that warning. So good for me, right? All right now. <clears throat> That's number two there. We're gonna go ahead and she might be out there. Look at the amount of bees. See? Now this is the bottom. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna run them up so I can put the uh, this box on top of the other one. We want them on the top side, okay? Obviously if they all on the bottom side, when you put this on you smush the bees, you know? So we're just gonna run them up. Let them run up. It could be piled up on top. I don't care. That's cool. Now See? Which they are. Alright. So put that back in place. Okay. This happens, folks. Alright. This must be. Alright. Sorry, girl. But give this one just a little puff. Alright. And uh, put it back on, and we definitely don't need to add another medium, as you can see. Run these girls down. I need to move. So I'm going to put this back, okay? Come on, get out the way. Get out the way, everybody. Get out the way. All right. Okay. That's just a loop. Quick thing, I thought I was going to be adding another medium, but we're not. Okay, we got plenty of room here for them to move up and plenty of room for them to build new comb. And they even have space down in that bottom box, okay? So, all right. Now they might have, oh, like I said, three months or so. So they might have had some honey in the bottom and they ate that and moved up into the middle box. That's why they're concentrated, because there's feed in there. So, anyway, uh, that's it for now, folks. <laughs> Alright, folks. I am going to release the queen from this colony that I removed about four days ago. I'm going to give them a little smoke, because they've been show me uh, every now and then that they kind of have a little attitude they look okay right now but we're gonna get a, give them a little smoke for good measure okay they've been sucking down the honey let me tell you let me see what they pushed out all right so we need to go ahead and open now only framed up I think one frame of brood so we're gonna see what else they've done in here let's see if I can pop on top 
right. Look at that, folks. They're looking pretty good, don't you think? I would say so. Hello, girls. Let me give them another little puff. Okay. So. There's a frame that still has a couple rubber bands on it. We'll deal with that another time. I mean, I just want to move that one over so I can get the queenie. She's going to be somewhere in here. Wow. They're making honey, folks. Now, they did have some drawn comb in here. This hive is going to my buddy Shawi, so this is his setup. And uh, we have drawn comb in here. Show you what the girls have been doing. Okay. They got pollen. So they packing that frame with with honey, folks. Just packing it. Okay. Turning around. See what it looks like on the other side. So they drawing out some new stuff. I said I've been feeding them pretty good here. Alright, let me put that down. Alright. Filming with the GoPro Hero 3 Plus today, folks. Alright, let's push this over. Alright. Hard to tell exactly where she is because they chewed the rubber bands up. There she is. She's going to be right on there. Look at that. Mm-hmm. So let's go ahead and pull that off. All right. Hopefully we're still filming. Got a phone call there. That kind of sucked. Anyway, hopefully it's still... Looks like we're still filming. Alright. I'm just going to put this back in here. Watch out, girls. Alright. Let's see here. Alright. See, we're using the app on the phone. See everything. Pretty cool. <laughs> Alright. Put the phone aside. Push our frames. I'm going to push them down this way then. I don't have a hive tool in my hand, so I'm kind of doing this one handed right now. Let's give another little smoke. Alright, I'm going to get these girls off of there. And uh, I'm going to put her right there for a minute. Just put our top back on. Alright, now. Okay. I don't know if we're going to be able to... Yeah, I can see her in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see her in there or not, though. Let's see. Yeah, these things aren't the great, but zooming in. Let's see here. Anyway, let's see if we can't get her going in. Alright. So, it's late evening. I'm just going to go ahead and open it up and... Let it run on in, okay? Hopefully we can get this with the GoPro. There she is. See her? Okay. She's kind of long and pointy, thin down a little bit. Get her up and, uh, and laying again, so. All right. Hope you all enjoyed this little video of the Queen release. Until the next one. Y'all take care now.